Well, we're here at Crocs. We're having a great time with Jason and Steve, of course. Now, Steve, we got me in my nice wedgie harness here all ready to go. Um, before we get started, for people who are brand new to the idea or the, the sport, tell us a little bit about how, how a two-man like time and clean climbing team works. Sure. Well, in here right now, you're on what's called a top rope belay system. So I'm your safety partner. Okay. Uh, as you're climbing, you're going to build up slack in this system, right? right? And if nobody was holding the end of the rope, if you fell, it wouldn't do you any good. So right. my job as your uh, belayer is to pull that slack through this device. Okay. Uh, and then that allows me, if you were to slip or whatever, it'll just feel like you're sitting down in a chair. So there's okay. no real falling in top rope. Okay. They call it top rope because the rope goes from you all the way to the top, to the top. and back down to me. Oh, yeah. That's very clever. All right, Steve, so I'm going to start climbing and this guy, Jason's gonna give me some motivation. He's gonna be climbing beside me. What are my tips first? What do I need to know? Well, before uh, I get probably here? as a woman, you're gonna do everything about correct just naturally. It but never uh, happens. No one ever tells me that. The biggest thing okay. you want to do is you want to keep your hips nice and close to the wall. If, if you're okay. climbing and your butt's sticking way out like this, you have to really hold on hard. Oh, okay. But if you're standing, hips nice and close to the wall, hands nice and high, it doesn't really take that much energy. So okay. those are things you'd probably do anyway. Okay, so I'm going to get started. All right, we're ready. And Jason's going to get started. Oh, that's oh. mine. Okay, you can have that one. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't matter which little nubbin things that nope. I want to use. I can just... Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, there we go. That feels better. Nice. Okay. Yeah, just try... Just move your feet up an inch at a time. There you go. Just like walking stairs. Nice. Oh, that's not so bad. Yeah, you're a natural. What am I doing, Jace? Good job. Keep it up. Okay. Very All good. right. So how uh, how often do people who just start out in the sport typically like to come and train, Steve? Well, you know, it's a, it's a pretty addictive sport. Like I was saying, we're built for this. And so what we have, uh, what people find is they improve at it very quickly. Right. So it's one of those things where, you know, when you're seeing personal gains all the time, it's something that you choose and want to do very often. So uh, when people first start, they go hard and heavy. Uh, right. And then once you've been climbing for a while, you're usually out once, maybe twice a week. Gotcha. Okay. But it's not something you have to do on a, on a daily or four time a week basis to get good at. And people get competitive with themselves, obviously, but can they yeah. compete against, like, is there a lot of arenas to actually compete in? Or? Yeah, there's a very strong youth climbing uh, competition board. It's called the CEC here in Canada. And of course, there's world competitions. Okay. Are you at the top there? Can you touch the chain? I'm at the top. Nice. All right. So I'm just going to give you a take okay. and you can relax, sit back on the rope. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then of course, uh, you know, like most sports, uh, Europe has been doing it far longer than we have. So there's world, uh, world Cup competitions every year and they're just full of fantastic male and female athletes. Well, I just made it to the top of probably the easiest rocks. I'm maybe not ready for those competitions, but we're having a great time here at Crux. We're going to be back with more Go Calgary after this. How do I get down? 